Hello. Hello. I'm here with is it Athena? Athena. Casey Athena, Athena Brown. Okay, and um, I just uh, understand that you uh, have um, decided to become a Republican. Yes. And we're happy that you are. Um, what I first want to ask you is, um, when did you first discover that um, you were uh, transgender? All right, transgender. That would be back in around 2013. 2013. I was actually sent to a, a therapist uh, by accident. That's a story all on its own. But uh, it was uh, this therapist worked with uh, DBT, dialectical behavioral therapy. And as she began to describe to me what that therapy is, and I began to study it and use it on myself, use some of the principles of that therapy and explore my own mind, I began to realize that I had been living as a male when in fact I simply wasn't. Psychologically, emotionally, mentally, I was not male, even though that's just simply how my anatomy came out. So I, uh, I took the steps to start living as a woman. That was the absolute best decision I think I've ever made. I was so, so happy when I started to make those steps. Uh, and I also want to say that I began this transition at the Portland Rescue Mission. Uh, and they were absolutely supportive. They were extremely loving. And uh, that really changed my whole view of, uh, of what it means to be religious. Because they're a faith-based organization. And they were so supportive during that whole entire time. And uh, I really want to thank them a lot for that. And so that was uh, 2013, November of 2013 is when I began living as a woman. It was uh, January 10th of 2014 that I got my name and gender changed. And I've been living as a woman happily ever since. Okay, well, um, I was under the understanding that you were a member of the, uh, was it the Multnomah County Democrat Party? The, or the Democratic Board? Party. Yes, yeah, it's all over my Facebook that I called myself a socialist, a democratic socialist, which means nothing. <laughs> but I was, uh, yeah, I was on that side of the fence for a very long time. And um, you were pretty active, I take it? And uh, I was pretty active, yes. Okay. Um, what made you decide that maybe that wasn't the party that you should uh, affiliate yourself with? Uh, a lot of things actually and, and so a lot comes to my mind and I'm trying to think how can I sum it up. It was the attitude that of uh, Democrats that if you don't accept our narrative, if you don't accept our idea, this, this made up convoluted idea that there's a faceless shadowy conspiratorial government that's trying to hurt all women and wants everybody to be uh, oppressed. If you don't agree with that, even though that has no evidence, and I'm showing them evidence to the contrary, they uh, they absolutely don't want to have anything to do with you. They'll block you on Facebook, they ostracize you, they just have, want to have nothing to do with you. Whereas my Republican friends, we can disagree, and it's okay that we disagree. Right? I'm absolutely positive, I'm 100% positive, I don't agree with 100% of everything that's on the GOP platform. And that's okay. Right? So we still agree on the same principles. We still want people to succeed or fail based on their own merits. We still want everybody to have opportunity. And they do. They do have opportunity. This is a great country. Right? So uh, we agree on those principles. And actually, I do agree with most of the uh, GOP platform because I actually went ahead and read it. <laughs> and it actually is my Amazing. Facebook. I actually, yeah, I read it. I went out and posted little parts of it on my Facebook to demonstrate that uh, the GOP platform says that they are against discrimination. And uh, Donald Trump himself said that he will protect LGBT people from, uh, from oppression. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, we're all Americans, right? Right, right. So that's the kind of attitude. It was the absolute opposite picture that's been painted by the Democrats. So that, that pretty much answers my next question, um, why the GOP. You had friends that had also you had spoken with, and they gave you basically an outline, and then you pursued it further. Mm -hmm. Good, good. Well, that answers that question. Um, so with that being said, um, so what do you have any goals or plans that you would like to go forward with um, now that you are a member of the Multnomah County Republican? I will absolutely be working with you guys and uh, helping you guys get Oregon to be a red state. That's what I plan to do. I want to help you guys whenever I can and uh, in whatever capacity I can, like I did with the Democratic Party a long time ago. I will definitely be helping you, with, like what you're doing here at this uh, at this booth, doing a little bit of volunteer work, and uh, yeah, trying to help you get uh, more Republicans in Oregon so that at least it's balanced, and at least both sides of the story can be heard. So.
Do you have any uh, anything you would like to say to the um, LGBTQT community, or possibly just somebody that may be um, fearful to go against the uh, what they're taught as the agenda that the the, 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 the Republicans um, dislike them? Uh, is there anything you would like to just give a message because if they would encourage them to really think outside the box and search their heart? Just about everybody on Facebook who is in the LGBT community. I've spoken about this before on my website, which is uh, uh, fourthwaivers.wordpress.com, and we'll link that, I guess, somewhere in this when it goes online. But uh, I've said this quite a bit. Uh, there's this narrative, and if you don't agree with it, then I've basically been blocked by just about everybody in the LGBT community already. I've been uh, completely like excommunicated from that community, if you want to call it that. But uh, here I am standing uh, at the Multnomah County Republican Party, and I'm a, a transgender lesbian, and they haven't killed me, right? <laughs> haven't hung me on a cross or, or burned crosses anywhere or anything like that. These people are awesome. Yeah, you, you guys are way more accepting than the LGBT community was, right? So you're not actually here trashing anyone. You're not trashing uh, cisgender white males. You're not trashing black people. You're not trashing anyone like the LGBT community would be doing. You know, I wanted them to understand that. Is that the, the very type of oppression that they were under 30 years ago is the kind of oppression that they're fostering now. And so it's, I want them to know that the Republican Party is actually a good party and they're accepting and that they don't discriminate. Here I am standing with them, helping them, and they're not discriminating against me at all. And I can disagree with you guys on a couple of things, and you're sitting there nodding at me because, yeah, it's totally cool. We like disagreement. We like our ideas to be challenged because that's how good ideas survive and bad ideas die, right? That's free speech. That's the whole purpose of it to begin with, isn't it? But it also, it also forwards, um, you know, going along and actually accomplishing things nice. because you have uh, Doing good. some other suggestions, oh. possibly. Hang on a second. Um, so anyway, well, as a multi-year member of PCP as a Multnomah County Republican, I totally welcome you, and I'm very happy to have you join our team, and look forward to working with you. And uh, check out the uh, fourth waivers, because I actually articulate my points so much better there than I have here. I feel like I've not really... No, you're doing great. No, Maybe I'm just so self-conscious, and everybody's their own worst critic. I don't know. Okay, well, thank you.